All right, Lady Ada, what's this? Okay, so this is the ESP32 P4 eval board that I got a couple days ago. This is featuring the new ESP32 P4 dual core 400 megahertz RISC V processor from Expressive. Uh, it's got the cool MIPI DSI and CSI uh, uh, connections on it and uh, Ethernet. And um, one thing we want to do is port CircuitPython to it. So I've got my computer connected through the USB UART because we're still working on getting the native USB working, but right now we're going through this uh, CP2102 converter into the chip. And check this out. Scott got a basic build working. So if you zoom out just a teeny bit, you'll see oh. this and I can restart it. Um, oh. And then I can say, hello world oh. from ESP32 P4. I'm using the online editor oh. to save. And then we start, and now it says this, and I can do um, wow. print, I think, os.system. Let's see. I'm not so used to using the editor. So I'm also, this is a great way to test the editor. Oh, wait, hold on. i got to import. Import os. We actually wrote this for um, particularly expressive boards because sometimes they don't have native USB. So let's save and run. Oh, os. You know what? I have to remember what it is. Dur. Actually, you know what I can do? I can go over here and I can, there you go. I can do import OS and then OS dash, what was it called? Oh, maybe I don't have, maybe it's not OS, maybe it's something else. Oh, you name. That was it. There you go. ESP32 P4, release 9.2 alpha, uh, running on the eval board. So, not live, you know, it's live. It's really working because I can't even do yeah. it anymore. Um, anyway, it's exciting. Um, it's just like to see the first boot. I remember when we had um, the SAMD21 first boot circuit python so That's this right. chip is going to be a beast it has 16 megabytes or 32 megabytes of internal ps ram so it's going to be awesome for running circuit python it's basically like a computer cool very exciting